Hello students, welcome back to your geography club. I am Mrs. Jenny Shah and we've just completed the chapter climate. Last class I had told you we would complete the question and answer discussion of the last four questions. So we'll do that today. Yes, so we were on question number five. Describe the regional variations in the climatic conditions of India with help of the suitable examples. So over here we have to talk about different climatic conditions in different regions of India. So you will first say that yes, there is a climatic and uh, there is uh, regional variations in the climatic conditions of India, and that is because of the temperature and precipitation that vary from place to place and season to season. Then in the point format, you will mention about uh, uh, the summer season. You will talk how the summer season uh, the temperatures they rise right up to 50 degrees in some parts of india while the other parts uh, is only around 20 degrees celsius uh, like for example rajasthan is very hot during the summer season but pahalgam in kashmir is quite cool then we talk about the winter season and we say that during the winter season at night the temperature in Dras in Kashmir may be minus 45 degrees Celsius. Whereas in Thiruvanthapuram in Kerala, we have a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. So, so on a winter night, temperature in Dras in Jammu and Kashmir may be as low as minus 45 degrees. Whereas in Thiruvanthapuram, on the other hand, has a temperature of 22 degrees Celsius. So this shows how the climatic conditions vary in different regions. Then we can talk about the islands. Okay, we can talk about the islands and we can say that there is a difference between the temperature of day and night and there is hardly, you know, the difference between the temperatures of day and night is hardly 7 degrees to 8 degrees. Then we talk about the coastal areas and we say that the coastal ex uh, areas experience less contrast in temperature whereas the seasonal contrasts are more in the interior of the country. Then you will talk about rainfall and you will mention that there is a decrease in rainfall generally from east to west. We had spoken about this last class. And we will also say that most part of India receives rainfall from June to September, but some parts like Tamil Nadu, they get rainfall, they get a larger portion of their rainfall during October and November. So this is how there is regional variations in the climatic conditions of India. Okay. So the answer is at different places in the textbook. I hope you are able to mark it. You can pause, re-hear it, listen to it again, and then make your marking. Next question. Discuss the mechanism of monsoons. So we have to discuss which are the factors which are responsible for monsoon. So the first factor is the differences in the heating and cooling of land and water, which creates low pressure on the landmass of India, while the sea around experiences comparatively high temperature. So this difference causes rainfall. Okay, so you will say that the differential in the heating and cooling of the land and water, which creates low pressure on the landmass of India, while the sea around experience comparatively high pressure, number one. Number two is the intertropical convergence zone, which is normally positioned. So these are all the facts which are important. So one, 
to three, four, five. After this, after the westerly jet system, the next point is the periodic change in pressure conditions between Pacific Ocean and the Indian Ocean, that is the southern occurrences. So this the periodic changes from your in the pressure conditions which is known as southern oscillation which also affects the monsoon and finally the difference in pressure finally the difference in pressure over tahiti and darwin is computed to predict the intensity of monsoons. Tahiti lies in the Pacific Ocean and Darwin lies in the northern Australia. If the pressure differences are negative, it means a below average and late monsoon. So here. Yeah. Okay, so this is your sixth point. So one, two, three, four, then this the periodic change uh, you know pressure conditions over the southern ocean and the indian ocean and finally this tahiti and darwin okay. next question Give an account of the weather conditions and characteristics of the cold season. Okay, the answer. Firstly, the winter begins from mid-November and continues till February in the northern India. Next, December and January are the coldest months in the northern parts of India. Then the temperature ranges between 10 degrees to minus 15 degrees in the northern plains, while it ranges from 24 to 25 degrees in Chennai. Days are warm and nights are cold. Frost is common in the north and higher slopes of Himalayas also experience the snowfall. The northeast winds trade winds they prevail all over the country in this season and these winds they blow from land to sea and most parts of the country also experience a dry season next the weather is fully marked by a clear skies low temperatures and low humidity and also weak variable winds Next, the inflow, the inflow of cyclonic disturbances from the west and the northwest is a characteristic feature of the northwest weather over the northern plains. These low pressure systems, they originate over the Mediterranean Sea. and West Asia and move into India. They cause winter rains over the plains and snowfalls in the mountains. The rain, winter rainfall is in small amount, but it is very important for the cultivation of rabi crops. This local, this rainfall is locally known as Mahavat. The peninsular region does not have a well-defined cold season due to the moderating influence of the sea. So the peninsula doesn't really have a cold season 
but the northern plains does have a nice cold season okay next question give the characteristics and effects of the monsoon rainfall in india firstly we talk about the characteristics number 1 is that the duration of monsoon varies from 100 to 120 days from early june to mid september the normal rainfall suddenly increases around the time of its arrival and it continues regularly for several days this is called the burst of the monsoon they are distinguished from the pre monsoon showers because of their increase in rainfall amount and regularity they are distinguished from the pre monsoon shower the monsoon arrives at the southern tip of the indian peninsula and it generally by the first week of june the rainfall is unevenly distributed across the country now we'll talk about the effects of the rainfall agriculture in india largely depends on the indian monsoon for water late low or excessive rains can have a negative impact on the crops number 2 due to uneven distribution of rainfall across the country there are a few places that are drought prone and there are a few places that are flood affected number 3 the monsoon provides india with a diverse climatic pattern hence in spite of the presence of great regional variations it still has a unifying influence upon the country and its people with this we finish the question answer discussion now i'm going to share with you a mind map of the chapter so in this chapter we started by learning the difference between climate and weather we understood the climatic influences and also the human activity movement food and dressing and shelter according to the season we understood the climatic variations in the different parts of india and we also explored the reason for the variations so climate refers to the sum total of weather conditions and variations over a large area for a long period of time and weather refers to the state of the atmosphere over an area at any point of time this is the difference what were climatic controls these are the, there are six climatic controls that generally influence the climate of any place that is latitude altitude pressure and wind system distance from the sea ocean currents and relief features then we spoke about the three factors that affect the india's climate latitude altitude pressure and winds latitude latitude gives india's climate characteristics of tropical and subtropical climate because the tropic of cancer passes through our country next was altitude himalayas they prevent the cold winds from central asia from entering the subcontinent due to that 
subcontinent has mild winters otherwise we would have severe winters next is pressure and winds pressure and surface winds upper air circulation jet streams western cyclonic disturbances and tropical disturbance cyclones they all affect the climate of india the indian monsoon the indian monsoon is affected by the differential in the heating and cooling of land and water shift of the position of the itcz presence of the high pressure area east of madagascar tibetan plateaus that get intensely heated during the summer and the movement of westerly jet stream and tropical easterly jet stream let's talk about the onset and withdrawal of monsoon monsoon winds are not steady they are not steady but they are pulsating in nature with its arrival the normal rainfall increases and it continues for several days and this is known as burst withdrawal of monsoon is a very gradual process and it begins in the northwestern states of india india has four seasons the cold weather season the hot weather season advent uh, advancing monsoons and retreating or post monsoons which is the transition system so when is it winter december to january the cold weather season is from december to the end of february hot weather season which is summer is from march to may advancing monsoon uh, advancing monsoon season is from june to september and retreating monsoon season is from october to november if you look at the distribution of rainfall which is uneven in the country 400 cm of rainfall is there in parts of western coast and north eastern states 60 cm in western rajasthan and parts of gujarat haryana and punjab there is low rainfall in the interior of the deccan plateau and east of sahyadri and there is snowfall in the himalayan region monsoon winds in active association with the oceans and himalayas cause the whole of india to receive rainfall monsoon winds they bind the whole country by providing water to set the agricultural activities in motion river valleys which are carrying water also unite into a single river valley unit so with this children i am ending this class stay home stay safe take care keep learning thank you